Halftime at Soika Pavilion, the three seed Navy leads the two seed Bucknell 28-24 here at Soika Pavilion. Still a palpable buzz in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania because last night the Bucknell men's basketball team captured their second straight Patriot League tournament crown. I'm Justin Antwell courtside, joined by one of the many Bison stars, junior forward Nate Sestina. Nate, congratulations. What have these last 24 hours been like? Uh, cloud nine, man. I uh, coming coming into the last night's game, we were excited. It was a big big time game. Trying to trying to go only, or three and zero against Colgate and uh, getting out with a dub is, is huge. What's the feeling like when you got 4,000 students rush the court? It's awesome. It's crazy. It was really warm too. Really hot. Did you get a standing ovation when you went to class this morning? I didn't have class today. My Tuesdays and Thursdays, I don't have class. This was a blessing in disguise here, yeah. so everything's working out well. What changed? You know, it was a slow start for Bucknell. They missed their first five shots. They go on that 23-2 run. You had that big spark. What'd you do? I mean, I just came in and I do what I, what my coaches need me to do, my teammates need me to do, and whether that's grabbing rebounds or putting the ball in the hoop, defending, whatever, whatever needs done, that's what I do. It got pretty physical out there with you and Dana Bass. What was going on down low? I don't know. He, I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, he just, he started talking a little bit, and then uh, I started talking back, and things got physical, and then told me better hit the weight room. <laughs> yeah, you are definitely big to deal with. Do you ever think about playing football, or basketball always in the back of your mind? I, I was playing football until I was in like ninth grade, and then I started to grow, and I realized I wanted to play hoops, and I, I stuck with it. I was going to play my senior year, and then I, I ended up getting a scholarship, so I didn't. Six foot nine, 250 pounds, zero percent body fat. I think you made the right decision. What's this journey been like here, Nate? You know, you had a shoulder issue your freshman year, mono last year. You've had to play behind some really talented players. What's this journey been like here at Bucknell? Uh, well, first season is definitely up and down, and uh, I, I hit a really low spot my freshman year when I didn't get to play, and uh, coming back in and, and working hard, working with Nana and Zach, seeing what it's like to play with them, playing against them in practice every day. But it's, it's been on the up ever since then, and working with those guys the last couple of years, my game has really elevated, and talking with them, working through working through defensive schemes, watching film, doing all that stuff, getting up extra shots has been huge. I know you've really gravitated towards assistant coach Joe Meehan. What kind of relationship do you have with him? I have a great relationship with him, and uh, we went to Spain my going in my sophomore year, and spending that week over there playing with him, playing with Nana and Johnny was, was big, and Meehan and I work out all the time. We try to work out two, three times a week, and it's just like it's just a good relationship to have outside of outside of like game time, where I can text him about whatever, whether it's school, whether it's family stuff, basketball related. It's good. That mid-range jumper is looking really smooth as well. And you're from Emporium, Pennsylvania. For those that don't know, they need a map quest. This this is a really small town here in the Keystone State. 1,900 people. Nate, there were more than three times as many people from your hometown here last night. What's this culture shock like? It's crazy. And then like last year, we went to NCAA tournament. There were 17,000. It's even it's even crazy. Here, but last night was awesome. I'm, I'm used to playing in front of like 500 people. It's like a max, and playing in front of thousands every night is huge. And then 4,000 last night's even better. You're the youngest of five kids. Did you grow up like fighting for food at the dinner table? Is that where your competitive juices come from? Yeah, I ended up winning though. I'm bigger than everybody. Uh, no, I. It it is a competitive family. My my family, my teacher, or my parents are both teachers. And uh, for us, school was the most competitive thing. Whether whoever had the best grades, that's who uh, who got rewarded the most. And then in terms of sports, I'm so far separated from everybody except for my brother Andrew. So I didn't really compete with them as much. And then my freshman year, I got to play varsity basketball with my brother. So it was really competitive. We had a lot of fights, lot, lots of arguments after games with my dad. I know you're proud to be a champion. That's why you're wearing the hat. But you got to take off the hat. You've got the best hair at Bucknell. How many haircuts do you get a month? <laughs> I try to get one a month, one a month. Uh, it's expensive, man. It's, it, it's hard to keep up with it. What kind of product do you use? Because you're working up a sweat out there, yet the, the gel is perfect, Nate. Uh, suave Cito, but don't, don't tell anybody. All right, what's Selection Sunday going to be like? You're going to be with your best friends and your coaches. Where are you going to watch it, and, and what do you expect on Sunday? Um, we're going to watch up in the ELC Forum after uh, with a dinner and uh, expect – Expect something crazy. It happened last year too, but uh, hopefully we go somewhere a little bit warmer. But it's it's a big time thing for us. I mean, it's it's our second time around, and I think it's a, a little bit different for all of us. I and mean, we expect to go in and win. I'm a firm believer that good things happen to good people. You're a prime example, Nate. Congratulations, continued success. The hair looks good. Maybe one more trim before the big dance. Gotcha. I, I'll get another one. I'll get another one. That was Nate Sestina. I'm Justin Antwell. The Bucknell Men's Selection Show will be on Sunday at 6 p.m on TBS. As for the women, they have an uphill battle down four to the Navy mids. When we come back, we'll have first half highlights and we'll have the second half right here on Stadium 93.7. 
and the PageRelink Network.